this time I had a similar argument to the fourth. Okay, children of all ages, <laughs> you can stay right there. It's okay. You guys, just, I was just going to have them sit in this pew anyway. All right. all right, Ben, can you push the pipe for me? For those of you who don't know me very well, can you tell who the person, well, that's me, obviously, right, on the left? Yeah. On the right, who do you think that is? There's been people cropped out. Who do you think, who do you think that is on the right? My dad, yeah, very good. It is my dad. Good job. Right. Yeah, you're right. Now, could you tell because we're in the same picture and it's Father's Day, or do I actually look like that guy? A eh, little bit. A little resemblance, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is my dad. He, he was a wonderful Christian influence. Um, we had home devotions every day. He helped me any time that I ever needed. Wonderful. Still talk to him frequently. Well, the question on this Father's Day is, do you look like your Heavenly Father? And that may be kind of a trick question because our God is a spirit. He tells us Jesus looks like someone. He probably looked like Mary at least. And beyond that, we don't know a whole lot of details about how our God looked. And yet, we bear the name Christian, so we're little Christ. We're smaller versions of our God. And one of the goals that I have as a pastor whenever I preach a sermon or stand before people the reason why I wear this white robe is so people won't see the clothes that I have on. It's just white. Be focused on the words that I say. And by those words that I say, and maybe if you see me outside of this church, the actions that I do, I'll look like my Heavenly Father. And the question I ask you, do you think anyone's ever mistaken you by the words that you speak, and the actions that you do? Has anyone ever mistaken you for your Heavenly Father. Maybe, I hope so. But it goes beyond that because the truth is I don't always act that great. People can't always tell that I'm even a pastor necessarily. I'm ashamed to say. And yet the real power that my God has is that He transcends all that. His love and forgiveness changes me. And so that even though I didn't look like Him to start, I do now. And by His grace every day a little bit more, I look like Him. And as I read His Word and I find out what His will is for my life, a little bit more, even more every day, I'll look like Him. Can you guys fold your hands with me? We'll say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise You for adopting us as Your children. You are our Father. Help us to see Your will for our lives. And by your love and forgiveness, change us. So that every day we look more and more just like you. Amen. We continue with the next two verses of our hymn.